Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to more Hitter Kings 2, The Old God. As always, I am Orin, and last time on The Old Gods, we dicked around up here quite a bit. Uh, so much so to where um, we took about half, and when I say about half, I mean... 43% of East Francia. Not to mention uh, our remaining uh, Holstinian counties. Is this Holstein? Yeah, Holstein. Our Holstinian counties, and we also took places like Ax Anhalt. An Anhalt? Anhalt. We also took places like that. Um, today, I'm pretty unsure about just going and waging more wars, even though we have multiple opportunities. Great Moravia is losing to two different wars, one in which they were attacking and one in which they were defending against the, Cum uh, the Cumanian Cumans. Uh, they're losing both of those wars, but Great Moravia is exceptionally weak right now, and I have had a history with them, but I just, I don't feel like war is our best that right now. Um, we have so much revolt risk in so many different places. Um, all of this has about a 5% revolt risk chance until we get the religion switched over. The south of England is still sitting at 5. Um, Ireland has mostly tapered out, and then Brittany is just a piss hole, especially since uh, we have Waldisian her uh, Christian heresy there. That makes uh, Intaviv, or however you would say this word, that makes that county uh, volatile. And they've already revolted, what, four times? So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to have our retinue go loot um, places that are susceptible, susceptible to looting right now. Yeah, East France's. But also, like I said, the Moravians. So we can go and uh, loot a couple of their counties in here. Like, let's see how many soldiers. He has 1,200 soldiers. And his max right now is only 5k. Like, we have room to dick around with the Moravians. And they're going to lose land from this. Um, honorable. Ma oh, yeah, I was looking around. And I found that we have a Norseman in Slavonia. Uh, I don't have enough for keys at war, so I can't offer him vacillation. I already sent him a gift off screen. Um, I don't have any kids to marry to him right now, or else I would. And he has a sister Mary. Is this sister willing to come home so I can marry her off? No, okay. Um, I've also been thinking about Cumania. Do we still have an alliance with them? Yes, Astrid's brother-in-law. So yeah. Um, this was the con. We, This is my son-in-law right here. So what I'm going to try to do, the current con is a eunuch. So I'm going to try to kill his son before he has any kids. His wife is not pregnant. And then I'm going to kill this son who doesn't have any kids, and this son who doesn't have any kids. And then my son-in-law will be the Khan of Cumania. It's just a good business decision. Um, the King of Perm. I don't much care for Perm at all, really. I mean, he has all this territory, all these counties that are ripe with revolt risk as soon as I take him over and he only has 8,000 guys. Um, and while yeah, that'd be kind of fun to just add another 8,000 in, it's not worth it right now to me. We'll add them in later. But yeah, I think looting in Moravia and watching out for revolts for a few years is probably fine. Um, right now I have my Seer in Kent 
to switch them over and 7% yearly. Yeah, I mean, we're basically just sitting around waiting. Obviously, if, like, another duchy over here would uh, revolt, I think that would be great. But uh, right away, no. I think we're fine. Like, if Holland wants to revolt, I'll take Holland. If, uh, but beyond that, there's not too much. Maybe a couple of places in France up here. Duke of Flanders revolts. I might hop in on Flanders. Um, High Chieftess Edla of Sudregir has usurped the title Jarldom of Sudregir. Countess Flora. She is inbred and hunchbacked. So, good luck. I wish you the best. And I'm on times one. We can go ahead and speed this up a smidge. I have a truce expiring with the King of England. He is probably at full. No, he's 8,000 down. Um, things I would take in England besides, like, I would take Essex. Like, I would, I would take Essex. Absolutely, I would. I'd also take York. Um, I guess I'd take Hawaii. However you would say this word, I don't even know. I don't even know how to say that. I, yeah, we could we could take in England, but right now we'll just go raiding. Sounds good to me. Give us a little bit more money. We got quite a bit, but you can never have too much money. I wonder if I can blot. Does not look like it. Um, I managed to sow distrust between Bishop and Duke. I do not care. And he's back to war with England. English claim on Debenhardt. Which one's Debenhardt? No, seriously, which one's Debenhardt? Oh, I guess Debenhardt. Might be up here? I was for sure it was in Wales. Pals, Perthawaddle, Gwynedden, Dryfoot. Glamorgan. England declared war on Scotland, right? Yeah, attacking King Edgar Ironside. Debo Hart. I don't know where this is. I feel really stupid that I don't know where this is. Alright, oh, Strathy Nicole, Gowry, Carrick, Galloway. I don't know. Hello. King of Norway has declared prepared invasion of Castile. Can I join that? Damn. Go ahead and end your plot while you're at it. I don't know what you're plotting for, but go ahead and end it. Invasion of Castile. From Australia? The King of Antiquitain. So the Duchess of Castile is married to the King of Antiquitaine and the Duke of Castile. But her liege is the King of Castile. He has 5,000 soldiers. Okay, Norway, come here. I know you're one of my more powerful vassals. You have 8,000. Jesus. Not too bad. Um, also, who is helping you out? Nobody but Antiquitaine did join in defense. And Antiquitaine is not to be taken lightly, although he does he's down to five thousand right now after some revolts it looks like. Um this is still a complete shit show. Uh Sardinia and Corsica. Um I could rush here, but once I four level that Four and a half. Uh, it's not a rush that I think would be fun, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up times four. It's not really doing anything. Let's go about these armies down here. Yeah, Sturios ran their main force straight into the straight into Leon or Leon. Yeah, this would be Leon. Feels like I risk too much. Well, I don't. 
Dorset has been converted to the North Face. The Norse Faith. The North Face. Be really weird. Alright, there we go. Let him drag this guy out and her out. Um, now is where we can probably start making use of some rushes. Oop, yep, that auto save, right? There, we're making all the money. Go ahead and rush there, too. And retinue. Go ahead and slow reinforce. I don't really need. I don't need that much. Yep, we have a little bit more gold we can plunder. Prison by some guy. That place looted. Somebody wants out of my prison. Continuing to loot this province. Ooh, of Glam Morgan has inherited. Hmm. I can probably make a. Uh... Why aren't you two having kids? I would make a duchy, but I'm kind of concerned that you guys don't have any good kids. So maybe that's why I haven't given you the duchy yet. Did Norway lose the fight here? Please, resort the major majority of the population in Pentavive. There we go. So that was our bigger revolt rate. There's still a 10 that should drop. Um, Galicia has declared Galician Holy War for Portu scale. Oh wow, I feel so bad for Asterios right now. It says they're still at 10. Although that, I think that's wrong. Heretic Stronghold. Different culture group. Huh. I guess it's still counting them as the Heretic for whatever reason. We are done looting here. Holmger's Host. The Conquest of Ascalon. Really? Are you sure? Well, maybe if you hurry up, but uh, it doesn't look like that fight's gonna last too long. The fight does not look like it's gonna last too long. Ooh, and Rathawania looks like they just had a succession as well. Yeah, an old king died. An old king. Hmm. Jump in here. This is a, uh, no... Yeah, Novgorod here. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, Novgorod is a, uh, a Slavic religious zone. I could take that, maybe screw over the Slav, but I don't think I just hate the Slavs that much. Oh my god, Humania's in freaking tatters. Tolgi? I don't know who Tolgi is. Are you Tolgi, Tolgi? Tolgi, Tolgi? Uh... I have no idea who Tolgi is, but it looks like he's gonna get a throne. And a big one. Jesus Christ. Byzantium's having revolts as well? Where somebody's claim on the Byzantine Empire? Like, the whole eastern half of the map is just destroyed right now. Um, we have looted all we can here, so we can go on up to Leto... whatever. This place. People are inheriting baronies. Oh, we can rush here, no problem. Yep, free money. Your men return from looting a holding. One of them hands you an axe with a strange purple sheen and a plus etched into the handle, followed by the number two. After weighing it carefully in your hands, you toss aside your old gray axe in favor of the new weapon. Aw oh, yeah, we got dim epic axes. Getting dim epic. It doesn't have the axe on here as a uh, plus, but. Let's see if Pentavive got their shit together. No, they still have the sticks. Hmm. Oh well. Not as bad as it is. 
Um, we have a lot of gold sit here and loot. I may have need of quite a few mercenaries when I die and my son inherits. I also wonder how Norway's doing in the war. 1% in favor of Norway. Somerset has converted to the Norse faith. It's Winchester. Oh, there's Somerset. Alright. Oh, and I gained the trait ill. I'm way too old to be getting ill. Oh, I'm way too old to be getting the ill trait comfortably. Hmm. I think, yeah, she's married to my son, Nud. So maybe if I kill his other two kids, it'll just pass straight to him. Oh, but he named one of his kids Starkader. Oh, I don't know if I could... I don't know if I had the heart to kill this guy. Yeah, there we go. An install. 4,000 guys in an install. Place this here. Pull up these. Push them in there. Alright. Those guys have a little bit of time. How's the looting coming along here? We're all out of loot. What's going on here? Hotel's host. Conquest of Greater Poland. Hotel. Ah, Stagen. Oh, wow. Looks like my wife is, uh, or not my wife, his wife is. Nittling. Eh, kids aren't, but. Hey. Throwing him some cheap money now. He may, uh. Let me switch over. Um, Pazan is still independent, which makes it easy to destroy. Man, this is going to be the end of Sorbs. The cheat, the the tribe of Sorbs. That title has been around for so long. The tribe of Sorbs, and now it's going to be gone. Slow it down a smidge. Jarl Vladimir of Voster Gotland. Send him a gift. And the man who is. Who's Bailus in? Dan of Niraki. I don't know who that is. It's probably down here somewhere. Um, you guys hang out. First three are probably in my retinue right now. We'll give you guys march them straight on in there. Make sure my retinue still has marshals. Give them Dan. There we go. There we go. England is probably winning this war by quite a bit. Yeah, you will. Oh wow. We're actually taking uh, considerable losses. We still win in the long run, but people died for it. That's for damn sure. Um, and they're just going straight for us. We'll follow through. Uh, oh god, 2,000 guys. Yeah, look at that. And this guy, there's no way he'll take vacillation because he's old Norse. Strong claim on the county of Holstein, though. I don't know if I, uh... Totil the Conqueror. Don't know if this makes you a conqueror. Not really sure about that. I guess it does. I mean... Why not? Population of Anstabruck. Where is that at? Oh, cool. Whoop. And Stettin as well, which could be in here somewhere, right? Is Stettin not in here? Yes, we lost the trade ill, and I don't know where Stettin is. Oh, and I never followed these guys into Murray. That's good, they'll build up a little bit of morale before I get there. Um, means I can just 
means I'll basically get to kill more of them before they get done rounding. Yeah, there we go. 36 war score from it. That's enough to force them into a piece. Lock that guy up. Stand this set of soldiers down. Norway. What's your war score? Please tell me you're taking Castile. Ah, you're losing, Norway. You're freaking losing. You got a good army, though. You should mop these armies up before they freaking collapse. I know it's hot down there in Iberia. Norland, set aside his concubine. Cleared Brandenburger Holy War for Greater Poland. Look at you go, buddy. Some dude has been imprisoned. He was my chancellor. That kind of upset me. Um, Grimir, I guess. Haraldir? Nud. No, Haraldir. Why not? Um, fabricate claims is 14% yearly. So to trust is 32% yearly. In Holland, well, I could do gallery. It's closer, it's connected. We'll go gallery. How do you feel about it? You're not a big fan. Holland, how do you feel about it? You already don't like her, so that's fine. We'll not gallery down to. Encourage me. Try to encourage me to turn against my lead. Holland, shameless act, not go on it. I thus decided to imprison your chancellor for an indefinite period of time. You prick. Ransom. I'm ransoming me. I can't do shit. I know. Poor guy. Now I feel bad for him. I have received worthy chancellors trying to agitate nobles in my realm by spreading lies about me in Holland. Rest assured, this outrageous behavior will not stand. Fuck it down. About to lose a bet, and I'll. Oh. Although I felt inclined to cheat, I had to be just, even though it cost me some gold. It's kind of disappointing. I'd really like this to just go ahead and get done. Some other dude set aside his concubine. Jesus. Why are you guys sitting your concubines aside? I'm sure they're good concubines. Take a look at the, uh, the got it. Oop, no, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to click on the whole skin play. Um. Oh, he's already done fighting England. What do you know? Pan out. Ooh. For Burgundy. What's province attacking for then? Somebody else's war for Burgundy. Oh goody. All apart, Lothar and Genia. All apart. Yeah, we'll rush this. We need to get these guys to the western front freaking ASAP. Oh god, that's a shitty rush. Oh, we just lost a lot of people. It's okay though. We're making gold. We're making so much gold, we can afford to uh, speed up the enforcement of this retinue. Um, population of Branschwag. That's this one right here. Braunschweig. And now, why aren't you guys revolting? Just revolt, guys. Get it together. I hope more people are coming off these boats to assist Norway. And I guess he gave up with his whole holy war thing as well. I would really hate it if Antiquitaine took, like, a huge chunk here. That's gonna, like, really slow me down. Only, not only in, like, Iberia, but also, like, taking this coastline. It's gonna really suck. Um, we're almost out of money to steal. And then, where do we want to go? I can hold a great lot. I think I'll do that. 
think it's worth the money. Ooh, that was another big one. Yeah, that was Upper Burgundy, completely breaking off. They join in Hanot. Hanot's War for Burgundy. Burgundy and freaking Lothair and Junia became separate nations. That'd be great. It wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be the win because I still couldn't Holy War like freely. I would still have to worry about it, but it would be a help. I guess we'll come up here and play around with the Polish. Yeah, he doesn't have any soldiers. Fort levels here, they're still pretty high. Severker! It's brought out. You're a Norseman, Severker! What could you have ever done to anger me? Well, you've also angered the gods, because I, I'm the filthier. I decide what angers the gods. You're Catholic, that's good enough of a reason for me. Let's look at you. Catholic. Dead. Where do you come from? Plyon. Oh, we must have stole her when we were uh, stealing stuff down here. You come from Scotland. You and your Christian holy book. Sacrificed over. The feast and the end of the block can now begin. The meat of the animals that were sacrificed has already been prepared. There's plenty of meat to go around. Oh yeah. Rush right here. I'd love to play an old god game when uh I'd love to play an old god's game where I am a vassal of someone who holds a great plot. I think that would be fun to see if there's any uh to see what uh, events and what decisions you get. During the great plot, the pillaging and looting undertaken in your name has earned a reputation. Has earned, oh my God, I can't read. Has earned you a reputation as a fearsome Viking raider. All along the coast of Europe, mothers tucking their children into the night, warned that unless they behave, the terrible Starkadir, scourge of the seas, will come ashore with his undead warriors and eat them. Yes, we gain the trait Viking, my favorite trait in the game. I'm. When I just seen that pop up, I was really surprised that that was the first time I got the Viking trait, the Stark Deer. But I haven't been raiding a lot of Stark Deer. I haven't been hiring mercenaries or improving things. I've just, um, I've done a lot, don't get me wrong. Um, Stark Deer is the first Emperor, is he not? No, Nud was the first Emperor, that's right. But, um, he was the first Fjolkir, and I did take on this, like, crusade against Catholic holy sites, and I've taken all this out of Germany, and I'm, like, this is the most raiding I've done as Stark here, and I think it's kind of interesting that it took me this long. I'll just go ahead and finish up here in, uh, Poland. Um, Savalex is converted to the Norse fate. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love this I love this big chunk of lol art here still. And this uh and this Cathar down here in the Muslim nation. I think that's pretty funny too. Oh man, there's Monophys there's Miaphysite and Monophysite up here and Jesus. It's Nestorian over here in the middle of a... Uh... Mesopotamia? This is Mesopotamia, right? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, there's so much Nestorian in uh, Byz Byzantium, too. That's great. I love watching the heresy spread. Um, we have a little bit, gold, little bit of gold we can steal here, and... I don't know how long I've been recording. Did I set a timer? I didn't. Damn it. Okay, well, short or long, this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, yep, go ahead and toggle you off the looter. Get you over into Moonster. This is uh, it's the umlaut over the U. This one doesn't have an umlaut over the U. Oh, well, it's also not Munster anymore. Yeah, that one's Munster and this is Moonster. Is that how umlauts work? 
I don't know. We'll get you over here in case uh, some other parts of Lothar and Ginny I want to break off. Because that'd be pretty sick. Um, Norway is losing still. Yeah, by 11%. That's also really disappointing. Um, I don't know what we'll do next episode. I guess probably just hang out. Tell stories, sit by the campfire. Stark. I don't know that. Oh, okay. There's where the R goes. Stark here. Joins his fathers. He's joined the rest of his ancestors in. There was like a book of Vikings. The Nitlings would be on the cover. Because we've tore shit up this game. And I'm proud. Even if we do have to take uh, some slow points in between our big wars. I'm still oh so very proud of them. But yeah, uh, next time maybe we'll go jump in on Scotland or England. Maybe we'll just sit around and pick on the Moravians a little bit more. Who knows? Uh, thank you guys, as always, for watching. Uh, I super appreciate it. Um, yeah. See you guys next time.